Hey y'all, coming to you from the international headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was up to 2023 Pigeon Forge Rod Run with the uh, 2023 Scotty DTV Dirty Dozen. And on Thursday morning, we unveiled Boneyard Build's latest, a 1969 Mustang. You could have seen it live on Facebook, but if you missed it or if you did see it live on uh, Facebook, here it is, the whole feature. I think y'all are going to dig it. Let me get the camera turned around. We'll check it out. Chad, how are you, brother? I'm good. How about you? Outstanding, my friend. I love this Mustang. Man, me too. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a big fan of it. <laughs> I hear that. Tell me a little bit about it. So we built it for a guy named Kerry Miller. Uh, he's out of Birmingham. Um, it's a 69 Mustang. Pretty good starter. It didn't have a ton of rust. Uh, we knew initially we wanted to go black, and we wanted Coyote motor. Um, and it's just expanded heavily from there. We did a Voodoo flat plane out of a 2017 Mustang. You're not able to buy those as a crate, so we had to source one from a relatively low mile wreck. Changed they can only came in Shelby's, right? Correct. Yeah. The, yeah, the GT350. So that's the only way to get that one. So We put a 6R ADE behind it, and then somewhere along the way decided to, to put a uh, supercharger on it as well. So we've got a 2.6 liter Magnuson uh, VMP blower on it um, should be so yeah it should be somewhere in around the nine range we're not positive we're gonna get it on the dyno in the next few weeks yeah to be clear too because it didn't have any glass in it like a week ago correct we had the, we put the glass in late last week um it's been a been a rush to the finish line but but you made it we made it we're here yeah a few more things to dial in but for the most part we're really pleased with it yeah no i i am too man i i had saw pictures of it we kind of we unveiled it here to rod run so I didn't want the whole world to see it before you know, we could do that. Yeah. We were kind of kind of quiet about it on social media too. We wanted right. to have a big dramatic reveal, and I, I think it went really well. Owner so, super pleased. That's always good. Right. The man writing right. the checks is happy. That's, <laughs> that's always right. a good Got to keep thing. that man happy. That's right. Does it have a name? We call it Voodoo. Uh, it's kind of, I mean, it kind of right. fell on our lap with the motor. But right it, it, with it being all blacked out and kind of sinister looking, it, it fits the bill. What about uh, wheel and tire size? Uh, so we went forge line, they're 19s, and we were able to go 12 inch in the back, nine and a half in the front. Uh, they're a true knockoff, so wow. that's that's kind of a cool touch that, that we like. That is cool. Um, and then we run a 345 30 in the back and a 295 35 in the front. And the so nose, you made some changes there. We did, we did. We've got um, a billet grill from uh, Dan Baker at Alumacraft. He also made the scoops and the, the inserts. So um, just they're subtle. They look like factory, but they're not. And then the grill, we actually painted the face of it, but left the insert aluminum. So several hours of tape in there, but I think that was worth the, worth the extra effort. The tail lights are also, they're a one-off for us. Charlie at Charlie's Custom Creations uh, actually 3D scanned and copied a factory bucket and then made lenses and had them printed. So it's actually 3D printed acrylic that I smoked and put a honeycomb in the inside of and painted. So uh, they're, they're one of one. I think Charlie's probably going to look into mass producing those because right. they, they seem to be a pretty big hit. And it's one of those things, no detail in a car, you can tell it's different than what it would have came from the factory, but there's a whole lot more work to it. Right. Than what it right. To be. That's, that was kind of our, we want everybody to look at it and know it's a 69 Mustang, right. but we obviously want to make it look like it was built, you know, modern times. Right on. And suspension and brakes and all that stuff's been upgraded. It is. So Scott's Hot Rods, we've got their front and rear four link. So their front weld in and then their four link. Uh, we're running Alden triple adjustable coilovers. Uh, we've got 14 inch bears with uh, six piston calipers all the way around. So plenty of, of woe to go with the go. It should uh, stop and turn as well as it looks. Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. Brother, if people want to keep up with you, what's the way to best way to do that? Um, Instagram, Facebook. Um, we've, we've got a bigger following on Instagram. I'm a little more on it than I am Facebook, but either one of those work well. Uh, we're Boneyard Builds on Instagram. We're Boneyard Builds on, on Facebook. Right on. And what do you think? This is the first time to Pigeon Forge Rod Run. Man, I, I think we're going to try to make it every year. This has been a blast. Right on. We're really enjoying it. Keep bringing me cool and we'll keep putting you in the front row. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. So there you go from the 2023 Pigeon Forge Rod Run in the 2023 Scotty D TV Dirty Dozen. A very cool 1969 Ford Fastback Mustang Voodoo from Boneyard Builds. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! y'all make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos i have posted either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video